Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills, if I had the ability to mix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, that's a good job. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. When they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Habib. Even our teammates say, it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with Bear? <laughs> he is so strong, he's so physical, in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me right. down, but it's Just okay. Sure. It's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds, fighting at an obvious Samoa, Chico. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting. Out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimago Meda! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? And they separate. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage and you saw it right there with that punch. Clipped him with the right hand there. 
right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big ball for Punch Man. Now he gets back to ring. He loaded up that right hand, too. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA, gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early, DC. And they set. Beautiful kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, you can hear the flat from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Oh, collar tie. Ooh, and he caught the kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Trying to establish that jab once again. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Punch over the top. Again, back into this position. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Counters now left hook to the headlands. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Great punch. Nurmagomedov gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Slips the punch nicely there. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. 60 seconds. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Caught that. No, catches the right, so he catches the kick there and beautifully counters with the takedown. So a nice job turning that defense into some immediate offense there. He did a great job of turning his defense into his offense, but you can see that he's done that time and time again. He drilled that exact action and it worked in this instance. The single collar tie. Nice punch win. Try to establish that jab. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Threw it real tight. Elbow tight. Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. Huge block there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Take a seat. Relax. Let's calm that mind. You got a little too much food. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's going. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-twos. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big head kick land. Nermago Medov's shot is blocked. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Medov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on big martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him then. Blocks the shot. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Nurmago Medov gets hit by that leg kick. Go to the body! Go to the body! Oh, that's a nice strike. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, that right hand is on point. Massive head kick. Oh, straight right. All right, single collar tie now. strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And they separate. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time to pass that his boxing look this shot. Never looked this good. Nice leg kick. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up. Nermako Medov gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Big power shot there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Good punch. Just out of range with the big right hand. Both fighters throwing heat now. Swing there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. Oh, a single collar tie there. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Oh, that is an uppercut from hell. Beautiful job by him there. I mean, he threw that thing from his hip and he landed with all the force that he could muster. I'm surprised he didn't knock him out with that one. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you will. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. You're winning this fight. You have to stay ahead now. Let's get back out there and keep doing what you're doing. 
Put the pressure on him. Don't give him an opportunity. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level mixed martial arts. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Right hand punch from the clinch. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Beautiful strike. Combination lands for him. He's really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Look at him put his hip into that kick. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. He's driving the back of the head. Pulling forward on the head and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, lands an elbow. Didn't open him up, but very well could have. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of him. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Beautiful body kick. Oh, man, good stick to the body. Oh, nice. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Nice punch, man, over the top. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Right hand punch from the clinch. Mago Medov gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, he's going to shut your body off. Well, we'll see if he can... Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. How do you get out of harm's way here? I mean, you gotta shove that knee, John. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And that one certainly found the target. That was a thudding 
leg kick. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Alright, here is round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Big punch land. Mm. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Defense there, huge block for him. Slips the punch. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's make it go. Stay focused. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Beautiful takedown for the play. Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Namago Medov's got the full mount. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Land. Body shot there. Under two minutes to go. Man, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Just a slip there. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight.
So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, 37 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Habib after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus tech is going to be carried to the club tonight.